beekeepers thank you for watching today I'm just going to do a really quick uh, demo of what I like to use to change out and support my beehives this is a bad example I have cinder blocks here and a very tall beehive that has made it through two winters and it is leaning over so I have to do something I like to use these bee smart design hive stands to temporarily stage my gear on while I'm swapping hive equipment and look here we have crappy bottom board I'm gonna swap out that bottom board with a new one and we're gonna replace the bottom box in the process I've been using these uh, anchors that auger into the ground 18 inches they're really great but I'm swapping them out for iron T posts these are T posts I'm using on other stands I've had them in place in other spots in my apiary for a little over 10 years and uh, they don't respond to frost heave you can weed whack around them if you've got screen bottom boards uh, they're great for that because in the Varroa and the small hive beetles and things like that fall right out on the ground. This one has wires holding it in place. We're going to use U-bolts. Now in contrast here we have the Flow Hive 2 which has its own support stand. You can set that on concrete. You don't have to worry about it tilting because the feet are adjustable. And it has built-in le uh, levels in the bottom here. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of center blocks but if you've got level ground that works just fine where I'm going to uh, put this other hive stand for this demonstration you can use it on unlevel ground so you can use it on slopes banks ditches things like that so we're going to use inch and a half diameter uh, this is uh, conduit electrical conduit that's galvanized so it's great for outdoors and it comes in 10 foot lengths we're gonna have to cut it in half uh, you can use a tube or a pipe cutter like this one or you can use a sawzall with a metal blade this blade has fine teeth specifically for cutting metal and that's what we're using today and here it is cut off leaves some sharp edges there so you're going to want to get some sandpaper out and you're going to dress it and uh, clean it up like this so the edges are smooth it's going to be on your bee yard people are going to be bumping into that you don't want it to catch or cut anyone there so now it's ready to go we'll take it outside and put them in there you're also going to want to have a level and in this case I have a four foot level here and uh, we have the U-bolts. These are inch and a half U-bolts. And that inch and a half dimension is the interior spacing between the bolts. So it's going to be great. You also need a deep socket. The nuts here are half inch. And we have a half inch deep socket. So we're going to use that to cinch them up nice and snug. We need six of them. We're using six T-posts. And now, of course, the uh, conduit is cut in half. So we have two five-foot conduit pieces. And this is a day we're going to want to use smoke because we're going to be sending a vibration through the ground bees do not like vibration these are the hive tools we're going to use and I use nitrile gloves so that I'll have good dexterity and of course smoker is lit and we're ready to go so we'll lay the stuff out here right in front of the other existing hive stand we're going to tamp it in here I'm using a post driver it's a metal post driver very easy and once you've got all this hooked up if things are a little off level you can tamp one down a little more to level it up and now we're laid out here. Remember these uh, conduit pieces are five foot each now. And I've got these uh, bars and the T-post spaced about 18 inches parallel. And here we go, all six of them are in. Now it's time to bolt them up and we're gonna do one side at a time here. And you can see uh, works pretty good. Now once you bolt the opposing ends and you level those up, put your level on there in the middle. I like to not put the middle bolt on yet. So I have a nice smooth surface to lay the level on and make sure that we're true before we continue. And we are perfectly level throughout the length of the pipe. And then we'll add that middle U-bolt. Here we are, now we've got the front one as well. It is also level, so they're parallel. And again, we'll add that center U-bolt last. And we also wanna measure uh, how well it's level from front to back. So they are parallel, but I want the front to dip just a little lower. You can see the bubble goes to the high end there a smidge. And that's so that the landing boards will allow water to run off and out of the hives. You can also cut off the excess here with some bolt cutters. And that way if your socket's not deep enough to finish tightening things up, you can finish it up there. Don't forget to come back and grind or sand off those tips left so that you're not having a place where people will be scratched. Here we go, and this really demonstrates how off level this hive is. These bars are parallel, it's perfectly level. You can use this on any surface. And we pop the top here, and look, we've got some uh, bee patties here by uh, Man Lake, the Ultra Patties. They've used them a little bit, 
and it's time to pull those off and get rid of them. We've got plenty of pollen coming in. Bee population here is very good in this colony. Here we go again, lots of brood. Got some honey out on the ends. It looks like they're building some drone comb as well, drone brood. And uh, that's going to be great because we're going to need those. This is going to be a colony I plan to split. This is the upper black box. Let's go down and look at the yellow box too. Equally heavily populated. We've got some nice uh, brood comb in there. They've been hatching out of that. This is a fantastic colony. Of course, we're going to be working with it through the summer and we're going to do splits from it. So uh, here it is on the pipe. And there's a little paper wash there. Not a huge threat to the bees. Nothing like yellow jackets. And uh, there's kind of a rule. Either move your hive two feet or two miles. This is definitely within the two foot range there. Nice and level. How clean and tidy does this look? And the bees had no problem, of course, finding the new location. And instead of running augers into the ground, now we can just strap to these iron T-posts and this thing is ready for the storm season that's about to come, I'm sure. This was our first weather break and uh, it's a great opportunity to be outside. Here's a close-up of the landing board. Bees are coming and going, no problem. And uh, they were not very defensive at all. We did smoke them a little bit here for this, but uh, I could have gotten away with uh, no safety gear whatsoever. But I highly recommend if you're swapping a hive out and you're moving things around, you might think about wearing some uh, bee safety equipment like your bee suit or a veil or something like that. These bees are very laid back. They have lots of resources coming in and they have nothing to uh, be stressed about right now. This shows a close-up of the U-bolts, the T-posts, Thanks for watching. I hope you benefited from this. I'll list the items that I use here in the video description if you're interested. Thanks for watching as always.